In this video, we will dive into one of the most fundamental link list techniques, how to reverse a link list in place without using any extra space. After knowing this technique, you will be able to solve a variety of lead code problems that require reversing a link list or even just a portion of it. I will also share additional lead code problems you can practice to become an expert at reversing a link list. So let's get into it. Let's walk through a classic lead code problem to see this in action. Just a quick note, if at any point you feel like pausing the video and trying the problem yourself, feel free to do so. Lead code 206, reverse link list. You are given the head of a single link list and your task is to reverse the list in place. For example, if the input list is this, output would look like this. Reversing the list means flipping the direction of each pointer so that every node points to its previous node instead of the next. A naive approach would be to copy the values of the linked list into an array, reverse the array, and then iterate to update the list. But this approach requires order of an extra space where n is the size of the list, and it isn't efficient. Instead, we can reverse the list in order of n time and order of one space using three pointers, previous, current, and next. We start with the previous pointer as none since there is no previous node at the beginning. Current pointer points to the head of the list, and the next pointer helps us temporarily store the next node in the list, so we don't lose track while reversing. In each iteration, save the next node in the next pointer by setting next to current.next. Reverse the link at the current node by setting current.next to previous. Move previous pointer to current as we have finished processing this node and move the current pointer to next to process the next node. We repeat this process until we have reversed the entire list. Once current becomes none, which means we have reached the end of the list, previous will point to the new head of the reversed list. Using this approach, we reverse the list in place without using any extra memory other than the three pointers. The time complexity is order of n, where n is the number of nodes in the linked list. The space complexity is order of 1 since we only use a few pointers and don't allocate any extra space for storing the list. Here is how it looks like in code. Here I am using Java, but you can find code for other popular programming languages in my GitHub repository record or some lead code resources. Link is in the description. You start by initializing previous to null and current to the head of the linked list. Iterate through the list while current is not null, which means until we reach the end of the list. Save the next node by setting next to current.next. Reverse the current nodes pointer by setting current.next to previous and move previous to current and current to next for the next iteration. Once the loop finishes, previous will point to the new head of the reverse list, so return it. Here are some more lead code problems you can practice using this approach. You can find these problems on algomaster.io. Simply head to the practice page, search for this pattern or use the filter drop down and start practicing. On this platform, you can mark problems as complete or start them for later revision. You can also find the links to GitHub and YouTube solutions for each problem. If you want to check out the full lead code patterns playlist, click here. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss my future videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.